You love these movies, these Marvel movies. I don't love them. No, I don't. Love I know. Them. All right. I, I don't hate guessing. them. All right. But I don't love them. All right. Uh, I mean, look, I used to collect Marvel comics like crazy sure. when I was uh, a kid. And so there's an aspect that if these movies were coming out when I was in my 20s, I would totally be fucking happy uh-huh. and totally love them. I mean, they wouldn't be the only movies being made. They yeah. would be those movies amongst other movies. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, no, I'm almost 60. So yeah, no, I'm not quite as excited but about them as- Can as, I tell you the thing? Uh, I mean, for me, I don't have your level of, of knowledge of mm-hmm. cinema, but mm-hmm. as a film go, or somebody who likes movies, yeah, uh-huh. I mean, what's exciting about a movie mm-hmm. is usually some element of surprise, yeah, right? Yeah, uh-huh. And what you see, what I've seen in a lot of these films is that it is just a carbon copy, essentially, of mm-hmm. the previous release. Like, mm-hmm. You, you're never taken somewhere you don't expect well, in the film. Yeah, well, look, I'm not here to rag know, on I'm, those, yeah, you know. Is, so it's like, you know, I, I don't have any, my only ax to grind against them is they're the only things that seem to be made. Making, yeah. And they're the only things that seem to generate any kind of excitement. Right. Amongst the fan base or just, or even like uh, for the studio making them. Mm-hmm. All right. That's, that's what they're excited about. True. And, uh, you know, so it's just the fact that that they are the they are the entire representation of yeah. this era of movies right now. Right. And there's not really much room for for anything else. Yeah. That's my problem. And they do like billion dollar box offices. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, but that is that is literally my problem. It's a problem of representation. Okay. Um uh, but uh uh you know, but 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 to go back to your uh, initial question, part of the marvelization of Hollywood is yeah, no, it it's the um you have all these actors who have become famous playing these, these parts, characters, yeah, yeah. but they're not movie stars. Right. Captain America is the star. Right. Thor is the star. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not the first person to say that. I think that's been said a zillion times. You know, but you know, but it's like you know, it's the these these franchise characters that become become a star. Uh, personally, I mean, this is my own thing. It's just that I I've gone to these movies and mm-hmm. you just go like. Yeah, it's a, it's another. It's just it, it's not that different from the previous film. Yeah. There's just new. There's some new well, effects. Before, you know, well, before though, okay, you know, okay. Here's a better way to say it. It's like you know, before, um, you know, even 2005, 2009, or something like that. If an actor stars in a movie that does as good as the uh, the Marvel movies do, well, that that guy's a new star. Sure, they're an absolute star, and that means that people did dig him or her yeah, and they like them and they want to see them and stuff. And then, then they, you know, uh, Sandra Bullock is in Speed. Right. All right. And everyone like thought she was amazing in it. All right. She was charming as hell. Everyone fell in love with her. And so, you know, even she does a couple of uh, mediocre movies after that, The Net and something else. Okay. Well, people want to see it because they, 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 they were like excited Sandra by Bullock. Sandra Bullock. They want yeah. to see her in something else. And she's good in those movies. Yeah. You know, but that's not the case now. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the case. No, no, no. We want to see that guy playing whoever, Wolverine or whatever. <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck another one. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. 